If you can do this, you're either A, a right clever so-and-so, or B, a member of the British Olympic snowboard team. Dan Wakeham's been flying high over the last few weeks, and who can blame him? He's living the dream, the Olympic dream. Hey -o. When Simon Tavron was a boy, he dreamed of becoming a professional stuntman. 23 years later, he's the man as far as the BMX half-pipe event is concerned. With over 700 exhibitors, around 1,000 boats, and masses of related equipment, it's not hard to see why the London Boat Show is a must-attend event for anyone with a passion for water. Here, one minute, Gone the next, who'd want to be a diver? Well, these two would. Tonya Couch, Brooke Graddon and Sarah Barrow are on a mission, a Commonwealth Games mission. And when you see them in action, it's not hard to see why they're tipped for great things at the British Championships, which will also act as a trials for the Commonwealth Games. Welcome back to the Homework House. This week we're going to be having plenty of fun with food and showing you which food is good for you. This week's red card! <laughs> who aren't forward enough thinking to make sure fair-weather fans become regular fans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Kevin. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to our Sunday roundup of West Country news and sport. Coming up on the up, Argyle climbing to the top half of the championship. Would you, Adam and Eve, it stands the man as City win big. But it's not funny at Scunny. More gloom for the Glovers at Glanford Park. Sport now and all roads lead to Exeter Chief Sandy Park Stadium tonight. Well, as far as West Country rugby fans are concerned. Yes, that's where the England reserve team, or the Saxons as they're known, take on Italy A. Eh? And one man who managed to get in before the crowds is our very own Jeff Welsh. Jeff. Yes, he's going to get very busy here. Kick-off is just over an hour and a half away, and Exeter Chiefs officials say they're expecting a crowd of around 8,500. Well, we start tonight's roundup in the Championship, and good news for Plymouth Argyle fans. The Pilgrims notched up their third successive victory yesterday and their first at home park this season to lift themselves into the top half of the table. And I had the pleasure of being there to watch them beat Nottingham Forest. One throw. Gallagher with his back to goal. Moss is there and that's gone in! Well, he eventually came to Rory Fallon and Argyle have taken the lead in quite extraordinary circumstances. Over the years, table tennis has been known as Whiff Waff and also Ping Pong. But that doesn't bother this lot. They're only concerned with one word, and that word is winning. Yes, it's that time of the year again. The time when I get the chance to wear a funny hat. No, seriously, cyclocross is cross-country style racing on a road racing style bike. It looks like a cross between mountain bike and road racing. But the key difference is the short laps that the races are held on. When you're a sports reporter, there are times, in the name of your art, you look completely ridiculous. This is one of those occasions. So where is it all going to end? Who knows, they might bring a rule change in one day where you're allowed to jump in the pool fully clothed. Now, wouldn't that be... 
be an event. Jeff Welsh, training for a future Olympics at the Central Park Pool in Plymouth.